Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and we are going to continue with our constructions type IXL problem sets today. Uh, so today I have a B5 which is a very very basic, very fundamental uh, set of concepts in terms of geometry as a whole in IXL. So B5 is just a series of problems that ask you whether certain features of a shape are congruent. The key word here is congruent. Congruent means same or equal, right? So for example, this pro first problem here is asking if the line segment or line VW and VY are congruent or the same or equal. So if we go down here, we see VW is this line right here, the 67 length, and VY right here, the length of 19. Does 67 equal 19? The clear answer is no, they're not equal, right? So they're not congruent. Next is line QR, so QR, this side right here, and ST, this thread right here, congruent. Well, are they equal? Are they the same? They are both 117. They are congruent. They are the same. Yes. Are BC and BD congruent? Well, we have BC up here is 151. And BD right here is 151 as well. So yes, they're equal. They're congruent. Are UV and WX congruent? UV and WX? Clearly not. 84 does not equal 147, so that's no. Okay, I'm going to skip a few problems here. Okay, once you get up to the 60-ish range, you're going to see a different type of problem with number lines. And so you're going to see uh, problems like this. So is line UV, so the distance between two and three, congruent to VW, the distance between uh, these two points? So does the distance between two and three equal the distance between three and five? Well, clearly not, right? There's only one unit right here, and there's two units right here. You know, one versus one, two. So clearly not congruent. Okay, is TU, so two units equal to ST, one unit. Same problem as last time. And remember this little symbol right here, the little squiggly over the equal sign. That squiggly is called a tilde. The tilde over the equal sign, that just means congruent. So are they congruent? Definitely not. Are they congruent? No, so I'm going to skip another level. Is PQ congruent to RS? So it's 540 to 580 is 40, and 600 to 640 is also 40. So we're going to say yes for this one. Okay. Skip this level two. Okay. Can you conclude that AG and HI are congruent? Let's go to AG. AG is this side right here with a single tick mark, meaning that any other side with one tick mark is going to be congruent. So AG has one and HI has two. So does one tick mark correlate with two? No, it, they need to be the same amount of tick marks here. These two sides, these two have two tick marks, so they would be uh, congruent. Or even these two, these two have two tick marks, so that would be congruent, but those two are clearly not. And this one, can you conclude that GJ G, J, this one, and H, I are congruent. Well, no, because this one has a tick mark and this side does not, so no. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. This one is fairly straightforward, pretty simple. And study hard. I'll see you next time for the next IXL tutorial. Take care and goodbye.